And today we have another episode of Amazon Passive Income Traps, this time about low content books. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. Uh, I searched for Amazon FBA Passive Income today and I found a couple of the usual sub, uh, suspects showing up in the results, but there was a new one down here. Make $4,500 per month passive income selling books online, no writing required, worldwide. So this immediately attracted my attention uh, because there is almost no way to make a legitimate book uh, that sells $4,500 per month on Amazon with no writing required. And even if writing is required, it's still nearly impossible to make that much money. So first, a little background about me. I've been a publisher on Amazon for about 10 years. If you go to amazon.com slash in 30 minutes, you can see my Amazon store and all the books that my company has published. Uh, some of them are written by me, some of them are written by other people. And let me tell you, it's a very, very difficult journey uh, to make any sort of income selling books on Amazon because it is so competitive. So the idea that you can just come along and uh, make this much money per month not even writing a book is just ludicrous. I watched her video and this is what she is doing. And by the way, um, I should say that uh, she she's making money off of this in two different ways one way is through advertising and you can see that the video already has nearly a half million views in two months so she's making some advertising cash from that uh, the other way she's making money is she has affiliate income for one of the services that she mentions in the video and she has in her show notes so that's how she's making money from it but what she's telling other people to do is you can make so much money by writing something not writing producing something called a low content book low content book is like a um a simple journal or like a notebook with a pretty design on the cover. Uh, it might be something whimsical or it might be something that reflects your interest like sports or cooking or who knows what it is. And inside is just a blank notebook for sketching or writing notes or something like that. And there are a couple print-on-demand services that you can use to create these books and then you can um, sell them on Amazon through various uh, channels. The problem with this is that First of all, Amazon doesn't like to promote these types of books. And also the print-on-demand services, increasingly, they're actually banning creation of these types of books. This particular blog post is from more than two years ago, right before the pandemic. It's on the rogerpacker.com website. It says, Ingram Spark bans low-content journal summaries and classic clutter to clean, to clean up catalog. Ingram Spark is one of the largest independent print-on-demand providers in the United States right now. Uh, they have a couple different programs. One of them is called uh, Lightning Source. The other one's called Ingram Spark. I use Lightning Source, so I'm very familiar with this program. Uh, Ingram Spark is a similar one. And basically, it lets you upload a, you know, your manuscript in your cover and publish a book. And it's, it's basically uh, published onto Amazon. Now, about th maybe three or four years ago, I started hearing from Ingram Spark staff that these um, low content books were, sh were showing up in their catalog. And sometimes, um, you know, they would do well. Most of them did not do well. And you can see from this quote, this is after I had that discussion with uh, Ingram Spark executives, that they actually consider this to be deception. Um, Part of the deception we've seen at Ingram Spark includes blank books with cute covers, books masquerading as non non book products, and summaries representing popular books that pretend be, to be the original. Let's leave out the summaries for for right now. Let's just talk about the low content books, the blank ones, the notebooks. So Ingram Spark basically banned creating a uh, a notebook. You you cannot you cannot do you cannot create those books anymore and upload them. What this person on this particular video. Uh, is doing two months ago. She's not using Im Ingram Spark. She's using another service that still has some availability to send books to Amazon, or you set up some sort of uh, Amazon Seller Central account or some other connection so you can sell these books. The problem is, is that everybody, people have been doing this, this uh, passive income attempt for so long. There's so much competition out there. It's practically impossible for a new seller to start selling, you know, thousands of notebooks instantly uh, by by creating these books and then uh, making them available on Amazon. And in fact, if you look at the comments for this particular video, one of the first comments that there is says, oh yeah, thank you so much for helping me out. I managed to sell 30 books. So if this person, you know, 
managed to sell 30 books, that's not a screaming success considering the amount of time that had to go into it. I think it's probably far more likely that people aren't, aren't selling any books at all. And if you go to Amazon.com and search for, you know, blank notebook with cute cover, you can see most of it is just junk. Um, a lot of these books, they don't sell anything. Just kind of scroll through the results, especially the, the newer results, like books that have been released in the last month. And you can see that these are not bestsellers. Hardly anybody is making thousands of dollars uh, selling these low content notebooks. And uh, increasingly, the print on demand service providers are cracking down on it. So I do not recommend doing this particular passive income attempt. Most of them are traps. Many of them are scams. Uh, but this is not uh, is not a way to make easy money. It'll waste your time. It might get your account either on Amazon or on the print-on-demand service provider shut down. And reputable print-on-demand service providers aren't even allowing this to take place anymore, including Ingram Spark. My name is Ian Lamont. I've been an Amazon seller and an Amazon publisher for quite a long time. If you go to leanmedia.org, that's my official blog and uh, video site. You can see all the posts that I have about selling on Amazon using legitimate methods, following Amazon's terms of service, and trying to do right uh, by customers and kind of by normal ethical business practices. That's what I'm about. If this video helped you, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And thank you so much for watching.